Hello, class here, Final Fantasy VI. In the last part, we got Terra and Shadow, and then started grinding in the desert over here because I want the Cactuar Esper. So I guess that's how we're starting. Alright, we're just casting Death and hoping it works. Oh! Uh, okay. Let's see, Confused Float and Imp are not going to revive anyone. You know, Raze. Alright, but the battle's over. Gale, Light, leveled, Terra leveled, Terra learned Cure. Or er, Cura, not Cure. Oops. <laughs> not sure whether that was learned from an Esper or... Let's see, Valley Garmanda. Okay, this Esper doesn't teach Cura. Yeah, on my list of rules, Gao's only allowed three different espers. So I kinda wanna actually get the espers he's allowed. Let's see, is anyone else allowed Cactuar, or is it literally just for him? Uh, maybe I'll just look a bit more once the death animation actually starts. Okay, got him. Uh, okay, Locke is allowed Cactuar, but we don't have him. And that's it. Celeste and Terra both not permitted, even though they're like permitted a ton. Let's see. Oh, hey, there's a Cactuar. Let's see, I believe it's Setzer that has the sniper eye. He's just. Oh, wait. No, it must be Shadow? I was gonna say, he's just a one dude show. But apparently that's not true. Oh, yeah, that's a full heal. Got him. Still need to cast Kira. Maybe four cures would be enough so I could save five MP, but like saving MP in this game, imagine. Yeah, we don't have lock, realm, or um, Strago yet, but I think that's it. And I think we only need two of them in order to, uh... form complete parties. Oh, goodbye, Terra. Still haven't seen a sandstorm since... whatever I did that made me suspect Terra might be able to live a sandstorm. I think I, like, gave her a shield or something. Yeah, if this grind goes on long enough, I might... <coughs> um, swap out some of the party members. I think Setzer has to stay in. I don't know if I taught anyone else death. One doesn't normally expect much of death. Because <laughs> either, like, it won't work or you don't need it. Except it turns out in this one case. 
It tends to work on slagworms. Magic AP, level up. Also, someone learned Thundara. Like, recently. It's not you. You just got that for the MP. You just have that for the HP. Okay, it must have been... Terra learned it naturally? 75% on the Agas. Let's see, Realm is also permitted Vali Garmanda. Alright, get more Cactuar now. Nice. May not spend literally the whole episode in the desert. I was told I should get back to Jador because of all this money. Maybe buy some espers at auction or something. Lock in that Cactuar kill. I guess I haven't been keeping track of how many I've killed. I should maybe like check every desert tile because. The Cactuar boss appears on a random tile. I've heard... Oh wait, I defended with Zetzer. <laughs> it's fine, the boss missed. Your boss? Uh, okay, you can cancel out of that, good. The normal enemy that is quite large missed. Because I was just thinking about Cactuar boss. Alright, so check these tiles. Run around this area. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it had been 10 yet. If I had to guess what the Cactuar count is, I'd say like... 5? I think it's been three this episode. But I think I killed two last time. All right, got him. I don't know, maybe people have a lot of mastered stuff on right now. Maybe I should head to Jidor before I'm done here. I do have 315,000 gold. Gil, whatever it's called. Like, Terra's the only one learning any magic. Jador is, like, right over here. I did look it up before the episode, since I was told to. And because, apparently, the original game it came with maps, including the World of Ruin. Right, you've seen a lot of carrier pigeons flying towards Miranda. This is just the item shop, right? Yeah. What does an auction house look like? This one? Yeah. Okay. Here's our next item up for bid. A treasure chest! And inside, a hero's ring. Uh. Come now, don't be shy. Sure. 10,000 gil. I don't know what a hero's ring even does. I don't think I'm willing to part with one-sixth of my gill for an unknown accessory. 
Or I guess it's a, a relic? It's a hero's ring again. Well, at least confirmed that, uh, you don't miss out on hero's ring if you fail to buy the first one. So, uh, that was pretty similar to the last time we went in here. <laughs> Can you, like, talk to the people to... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can really gain much use from talking to them. Hero's Ring. Maybe you have to get the Hero's Ring. Alright. We got it. What's it do? Boosts physical and magical attack power. Okay. Noted. Wish it would say, like, how much it boosted by. What? A one... One... Twi Why would I need a scale airship? No. <laughs> no, still. <laughs> Interaction with the child begging for the model airship. One million gil! I feel like you could have bit it up a bit slower than that, sir. Maybe that's just to make it clear that you as the player could not have gotten the model airship. Uh, it's another one. Are they just, like, wasting our time with bad RNG? It's like cactuars all over again. We're not even done with those. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll bid. It's gonna get outbid. I was told there would be Magicite and Magicite adjacent items. <laughs> Turns out there are only two items here. It's Kappa. A fully robotic imp. Right, the peak of high technology. 5 gil, 10 gil, 50 gil, 500 gil, 2000. 
seems to be an easier item to get. Oh, but the child wants it. Sure, like nothing fell onto the seat. Kind of wish you could know what the item was before you start the cutscene. Hey, it's a chest again. Zephyr cloak. I already have one of those, but like, if I could get it for 10,000. Yeah, sure. Although, maybe you can buy those somewhere for... No, probably not for a lower price. Yeah, Zephyr Cloak is gonna be like a lot of evade. Oh no, I didn't have one. Boost evade and magic evade. Although, it has the same magic evade as a white cape. So in the original SNES version, they were useless. Oh, it's that again. Yeah, last time it came up, I'd been wondering if maybe it was not, in fact, a robot. <laughs> and, like, if I got it, something would happen. Might lead to Magicite. But no. It's just another toy that wastes your time. I feel like it should track whether the airship and the robotic imp have happened before, and then, like, not show them again. Especially since the father's always like, well, just this once. I wonder if I can get them to, like, stop coming to the auction. <laughs> Maybe I need to solve something before I can start actually, like, winning auctions. You heard they're gonna put a rare sword up. I don't know, maybe you can talk to the NPC outside to always find the next auction? Or does he always say there's gonna be a rare sword, and then it's not a rare sword? All the lights are off. Stay away. And then the book opened. This is Elzer's diary. Read the diary? Just spent an absolute fortune on a new painting. It's quite a large one, so I won't be able to put it on the first floor with the others. I'll have to think about where to display it later. An artist came from Zozo today. Showed me his work. What a waste of time. Lamp on the stairwell was broken, so I bought a new one at the item shop. It was a tad pricey, but now everything's all bright and cheery with just one flip of the switch. I invited an artist here from Kolingen. Skills weren't quite up to par. I guess it's asking too much to expect a painter to have more talent than a wet sponge. I've been feeling strange lately, ever since I had that picture painted. I've been hearing things too. Strange sounds. They seem to be coming from the cellar. The diary ends here. He's super dead. Anyway, let's maybe save and see if we can press past the stairs. Also, the music stayed changed. Hey, isn't that the father at the auction house? Or maybe he just has the same sprite. Alright. Spent a substantial portion of my money on a hero ring and a Zephyr cape. If I just keep... Okay, no, you're always forced back. But maybe if I... 
Flip the lights on? Okay, yeah. There was a hint about the lights in the book. Oh, hey. Obtained Emperor's Letter. The letter reads as follows. The legendary treasure sleeps where the mountains form a star. Huh. Alright, let's pursue that clue instead of messing with the auction house more. Oh, I should find an inn. I've burned a lot of MP. Save. Mountains form a star. So yeah, I unfortunately closed the map I pulled up, although I don't know if it was sufficiently detailed to really... pick out where the mountains would form a star anyway. So what kind of star shape? Is it going to be like a five-pointed star, four-pointed star? Just a dot. <laughs> dot star. Oh. I was about to joke about how we were actually just farming Death Gaze RNG. Let's see, you haven't learned your... Aga skills yet. He's learned his Aga skills! Okay, it absorbs ice. It definitely absorbs... Okay, it absorbs poison. Does it just absorb all elements? Should I only be hitting it physically? Definitely a bad rage to have Gao on. I mean, if it absorbs all elements, it's just a bad fight to have Gao on. I think, like, all of Gao's rages do some sort of element. Well, maybe not all of them. Alright, I think we've done more damage than we've done healing. <laughs> so that's something. Gao rolling a lot of physicals. Okay, he's gone. He's, I should probably heal up in case we encounter him again while we're looking around. Legendary treasure where the mountains form a star. I've not seen anything I would describe as any type of star right now. We will continue to farm Death Gaze RNG.
See, I already searched up here, right? I think I immediately went north. Okay, I'm as high as I can get on the airship. Just thinking if I could zoom out a little more, it might be helpful. Oh, that's star-shaped. I've landed there before. So I could have skipped the whole hint. Um, I think maybe I'll go there next time. This part will just end it off with a few more minutes of cactuar grinding. On account of there's only a few minutes left. Yeah, I just found it suspicious there was one singular tile in the middle of everything, so I landed there once. Yeah. I guess what are my two parties gonna be? I don't know. Tandaga, Blazaga, Firaga. Alright, Terra. Got any other espers you're allowed that you need stuff on? Okay. I don't think you need those skills from Remu, although stamina might be good. Unicorn. Got some useful stuff there. Uh, what other possibilities? Okay, you've learned all of those. You could be learning death. Bismarck. Strength plus two is an interesting one to go for. Just did Veligo Miranda. I don't have Bahamut or Ragnarok yet. What does Setzer equip if Terra is getting... Eh, let's just work on Unicorn for a bit. The Cactuar are AP only targets, so it's good to be on an Esper that has no stat boost right now, probably. Although the, uh, whatever the other thing is called that I've immediately forgotten, um, Slagworm? Those are worth a lot of XP. Got him. Cactuar always take one fewer hit than I think they're gonna take. Alright, so I think my Cactuar total is up to six now. Alright, so uh, Sandstorm doesn't exist as a skill anymore, it seems. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Alright, yeah. That's long enough. The next part, I'll go to the mountains in the shape of a star. Probably find Locke there, because he was after the legendary treasure. And then... 
Let's see, I'll still want one more character before Final Dungeon. I also just don't feel like this group of characters, well, any of my characters, they just don't feel Final Dungeon ready. Nobody knows Kiraga. I don't know if I even have an Esper for it. Because I don't know if I've looked at every Esper due to the Esper rules. Yeah, I don't even have the Esper that knows it. <laughs> I feel like I probably need stronger healing than I have now if I'm going to be beating the game. But, uh, yeah. That's it for this part. See ya!